Hey guys, welcome back to another video on the channel. Rave Master, Rave, The Groove Adventure Rave, all of these titles represent the same Japanese manga series, written and illustrated by Hiro Mishima. In today's video, we look at the history of this manga and everything you need to know. Be careful of spoilers if you have not seen the show yet. Just before we get into the juicy details of the video, if you are new to the channel, be sure to subscribe, turn on post notifications by hitting the bell, and give this video a thumbs up. This way, you never miss out on a video in the future. Rave Master came out on July 21st, 1999 in the 32nd issue of Weekly Shonen Magazine. It ran for 296 chapters until its conclusion on September 10th, 2005. The series was later re-released in 18 Bonkoban volumes between August 10th, 2006 and April 12th, 2007. As the series continued to grow in popularity, Rave Master became licensed for an English release in North America by Tokyopop, releasing 32 volumes of the series. Sadly, on the 31st of August 2009, Tokyopop announced that they were terminating the project since their licenses with Kodanasha had expired. This required Tokyopop to immediately end all publications of previously licensed series, which included Rave Master. However, about a month later, Del Rey Manga announced that they had acquired the license and would publish the remaining volumes in 2010. Del Rey released the final three volumes in one single omnibus volume. By 2017, Kodansha USA licensed the series for release. They plan to re-release all 35 volumes of the series in a digital format. All of the volumes were eventually released on October 3rd, 2017 and are now available to all consumers. Hiro Mishima's story did not just cash out from the manga's comics, but a lot of other avenues as well. First, the anime series. Rave Master was adapted into a 51 episode anime series titled Groove Adventure Rave by Studio Dean. The show was directed by Takashi Watanabe and the music composed by Kenji Kawai. The anime first premiered on TBS on October 13, 2001 and ran until September 28, 2002. They based the anime series on the first 12 volumes of the manga. Before the expiration of its license period, Tokyo Pop licensed the series for release and broadcast in North America. Unlike the Japanese anime release, the North American series maintained the manga name, Rave Master. Rita Magcut produced the English version of the show, and the alternate music score was composed by Glenn Scott Lacey. The ADR writer was Bob Bulchels, and the voice director for all the episodes was Mark Handler. The English dub aired on Cartoon Network in the United States on June 2004, premiering as a part of Toonami's programming block. Now, let's take a deeper dive into the actual plot of this story. Rave Master follows the story of Haru Glory, a teenager that goes on a quest to find the five pieces of a sacred stone, Rave. His goal is to bring peace to the world by defeating the criminal group called Demon Card due to a war breaking out between the Symphonia and Rare Groove Kingdoms. Both parties harness the powers of magical stones to try and take the upper hand in the war. The Rave Stones, five pure stones of holy power, are created for the sole purpose of defeating the rare Groove Kingdom's evil Dark Bring Stones. The Rave Stones are to be wielded by just one person, called the Rave Master. In year 0015, the chosen Rave Master, Sheba Roses, hits the Mother Dark Bring, Sinclair, with a deadly strike that accidentally causes a huge explosion called Overdrive that destroys a tenth of the planet. Shiba was not destroyed, however, in the explosion, thanks to the selfless sacrifice of his guardian dog, Plu. Plu got disintegrated along with the other four raves across the world. After 50 years, the old Shiba meets Plu again. Plu was picked up on Garage Island and delivered to Shiba by a 16-year-old teenager named Haru Glory, just before he was caught by hostiles from the Demon Card organization. Shiba tries and fails to defeat the goons from the Demon Card organization as he no longer has control over the rave. The Stones had chosen Haru Glory as their new successor, who then tries to deal with the situation. Shiba leaves his rave, Plu, and the Sword of Ten Commandments to Haru Glory. Haru then gets off the island to search for the other rave stones, see more of the world, and find his long lost father. Getting to Hip Hop Island, Haru makes a new friend, an amnesiac girl called Ellie. Ellie strangely possesses the omnipotent Ethereon magic that no one else can seem to explain. In the course of his journey, Haru continues to make new friends, most of whom were enemies that he won over with his honor. Haru's newfound allies include Hamrio Musica, 
a master thief and the grandson of a known blacksmith, Griffin Kato, Plu's friend and mapper, Ruby, a penguin and casino owner, Let Dahaka and Julia, martial artists of the Red Dragon race, Belnika, a volunteer mage of the Ethereum project, Shuda, a former member of Arias and Seas, a group of the most powerful warriors in Demon Card's organization, and Sighart Caesar, the elemental master, and his apprentice Nebel. The team of warriors travel around the world gathering raves that are guarded by spirits of animal incarnated Azure Sky warriors. When they get to the Tower of Din, Haru finally finds and reunites with his father, Gale Glory, and also confronts the Demon Card's king, Gale Raregroove. After a brief reconciliation with his father, Haru learns the sad truth about the Gales. He finds out that the stories of the two men were linked by destiny as they are the royal heirs of the Symphonia and Rare Groove Kingdoms. After fighting to defeat King and bringing down Demon Card, Haru has to watch as King and his father sacrifice themselves to end this eternal cycle. Skipping ahead months later, the Rave Warriors follow the instructions of Gale and discover the fabled Stellar Memories, where the answers to all their questions lie. With Demon Card defeated, three new organizations emerge from the shadows, struggling for power as each of their leaders possesses a Mother Dark Brain. The constant battle between light and darkness resumes once again as the heroes finally clash with the new organizations. Haru faces a big challenge in the person of King's lost son, Lucia Raregroove, who now leads the new Demon Card organization with the resurrected Raregroove kingdom assembled with all the remaining dark forces. During the continuous chaos, the Rave Warriors and Demon Card encounter a being called Endless. This is an eternal, indestructible monster of time and space and the root origin of all the Dark Brings. Lucia Raregroove gathers all the Mother Dark Brings with Endless, while Haru, on the other hand, recovers the final Rave after clearing its trial through Shiba's sacrifice. With the two groups now having all the Rave Stones and Mother Dark Brings, they both learn the truth of their world that connects back to the stellar memories and endless purpose to eradicate the false world. The Rave Warriors journey to Symphonia once again to get back Ellie's memories. Ellie remembers that she is actually Raisha Valentine, who gave her life for the creation of the Raves, and sacrifices herself to help Haru and friends fight Endless in the near future. However, Zig sacrifices himself in order to protect Ellie through this trial, and Ellie gets back her control over her Ethereon magic. She fuses all the raves together with a new Ten Commandment sword forged by Musica. The warriors get to the final battle where Haru claims the victory. However, this comes at a hefty price. For them to defeat and destroy Endless, Ellie must do so with Haru trapped inside and also lose her memory as a result. A year after the final battle, Ellie and the other warriors pay a visit to Haru's grave. Here, Ellie finally regains all her memories. Haru reappears alive thanks to the stellar memory. The warriors say goodbye to each other, while Haru and Ellie return to Garage Island, where they live together. Now, Rave Master is made up of 35 volumes, and this large volume gave Mishima issues with serialization. Rave Master was so popular, it also had CDs. The Japanese audio that was created by Kenji Kawai was later released in a total of four CD soundtracks by King Records. Genion also published a CD based on the Japanese soundtrack for English release under the title Rave Master Music Side. And of course, the video games. Who could forget the video games? Rave Master has produced inspiration for six different video games published by Konami. Three of the six video games were released for the PlayStation, including one role playing game. There were other versions of Rave Master released for Nintendo's console as well. But specifically, when I was a kid, I had a GameCube and I bought that Rave Master game for GameCube and pummeled the shit out of my friends with Haru's Ten Commandment sword. Whatever that red exploding one was where he'd put the stone in and then the sword would turn from that big hunking gray piece of metal to that thin bright orange sword that could hit people and throw bombs at them. That game was crazy. Honestly, that's probably a top tier GameCube game still. I can't even lie. And that's it. There we have it. I hope you enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed making it. Be sure to smash the like button, subscribe to the channel, and turn on post notifications by hitting the bell. Check out the channel for more videos, and I'll see you next time. Peace.